Charles Philip Arthur George Windsor, still a prince at 60, the heir to the British throne has never reigned. His mother, Elizabeth II, became queen at just 27 years old. She's now 82. I don't think he's impatient to be king because it inevitably means that his mother will be dead, which will be very sad for him. I think he also feels that he has still got plenty to do as Prince of Wales. The Prince's Trust, which supports disadvantaged young people, is perhaps his most successful achievement. But Charles is also invested in spirituality, architecture and the environment. We cannot be anything less uh, than courageous and revolutionary in our approach to tackling climate change. If we are not, the results will most likely be catastrophe, catastrophe for all of us. Prince Charles' extensive charity work has endeared him to Britons. His popularity, dwindling at the time of his divorce from Diana, has gone up, even though nobody really imagines him as a king. A recent poll shows that 42% of the Brits think Charles could succeed his mother, while 35% think it's more likely to be his son, Prince William. I think he will make a good king. Um, I mean, all that scandal, I, actually I'd forgotten his scandal, all that scandal is in the past. I mean, he seems to have stuck with the same woman for a very, very, very many years, although he was married to another one. I don't think he'd even want to be a king. I think he'd probably rather, you know, tend to his vegetables or something. I don't know. He's not, he's not, he seems like a nice guy. Everyone seems to like him, but he just seems a bit, not, not a strong king, sort of. King or not king? On his landmark birthday, the oldest of all princes of Wales seems very stoical about it all, just like British royalty should be.